2020 has been a year of progress for Beyond Conflict, the mental health charity for conflict zones, despite all the challenges we've faced. We've remained uh, focused on delivering mental health support to some of the most vulnerable people in the world. And they've endured war, terrorism, displacement, and now COVID. Beyond Conflict completed phase one of its Iraq project with our partner, the Al Khoi Foundation, signing up three other major Iraqi charities to train frontline workers to provide mental health support to orphans and widows in southern Iraq. We begin work in 2021. We made a video highlighting the potential impact of COVID-19 on mental health in refugee camps across the world. We also used this video as an opportunity to provide accurate and necessary information to refugee camp workers on how to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in a humanitarian setting. We produced this video using expert resources from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. We launched the Beyond Conflict podcast. It explores the work of Beyond Conflict and also mental resilience in times of crisis. Our latest episodes include a fascinating discussion with humanitarian Terry Waite, who is an ambassador for Beyond Conflict. And also, I talk with Edna Fernandez, our co-founder, and she tells us what inspired her to start Beyond Conflict. We have launched our first pilot project on the ground and this project aims to deliver mental health support for uh, frontline staff and Rohingya refugees in Cox's Bazaar, which is the world's largest refugee camp in Bangladesh. And we hope that this project will help us to learn more about the needs of these vulnerable populations and also to develop large-scale interventions to reduce their suffering. This year's theme is Mental Health for All. Mental health support should be a basic right, not a luxury. We must leave no one behind. Let's change the attitude on mental health. Equipping NGO frontline workers will enhance their ability to help others. In 2021, Beyond Conflict hopes to build on our progress and extend our projects in Bangladesh and Iraq. We hope to raise a further £25,000 by the end of next year so that we can offer free mental health support to hundreds more families in need. We know times are hard right now for everyone, but we're asking for your help to reach this target. No donation is too small. You can give as little as £5 or make a monthly donation or a larger one-off donation. Every penny counts. Mental health is not a luxury, but essential to the dignity and well-being of every human being. Your donation could help change the lives of some of the world's most vulnerable people. Thank you.